Hello everybody. It's been a very long time since I've posted anything on this channel. Um, but like a lot of people, I've now lost my jobs and I'm going to be at home a lot in the coming months or however long this takes. So I always loved YouTube, it's just things got so busy that I wasn't always able to keep on top of it and make content um, because I used to work multiple jobs. Um, I even started an, another YouTube channel um, which I'm also going to start posting on again as well. So if you don't follow that, please do go ahead and follow it. I'm going to post a video on there as well, which will be live now when you're watching this, um, about how I lost my job and uh, what's going on at the moment. So if you want to hear more about that, go over there. It's under my name, Monica Sagar. I'll leave it linked below in the description box. Go have a look at it. Have a watch of that with video. But here... I guess I don't want to talk about that because I want it to be at least partially relaxing or as relaxing as it can be under the circumstances. So today I'm just going to do a whisper soft spoken get ready with me video because what they say is so important to keep getting ready in the day. Um, even though you're just at home all day and you might not be going out, it's still really important to look after yourself, get ready in the mornings, um, it will make you feel better. Ooh, this primer is a bit crazy. Oh no, it's settling in now. Um, but you gotta look after yourself, uh, even if you're not going out, like, I could... It's so easy to just sit in your pyjamas all day, which I'm not going to lie, I did, <laughs> I did do that for about a day and a half and I played, I played Zelda on Nintendo Switch um, and it was really great and I did really enjoy it but then last night I decided that I'm going to get on doing YouTube again and it's going to be really fun and I'm going to have a great time because you know I am a creative person um, I really like creating things um, I've made some films in the past short films um, I really loved making my ASMR videos I really loved it when I started my second channel as well. That was a lot of fun. Um, that was summer last year, was it last summer? That I stopped doing that one. Well, I just ran out of time to post anything, to make anything to post. Um, I think the last thing I posted on there was a vlog from when I did... Um, the BBC HBO show Years and Years. You know, I did a vlog of the shoot for that. Um, so that'll be on there if you want to go watch that. I'll leave it linked down below. Oh, what's that come from? Oh, does that ever happen to you guys? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, I'll leave that linked down below if you want to go see that Years and Years blog. But uh, even though I've not been making videos that often, I have been reading your comments and I've still been getting a significant amount of comments um, and still building up subscribers slowly, um, which is so sweet considering I've not been very consistent. I'm not going to pretend. And I know consistency is like one of the main things they say about YouTube is that you need to be consistent. 
and I totally get it because when I watch YouTube, I really like it when somebody I'm watching is consistent. I love having a video or two videos a week to watch. I love that. Um, but yeah, it's just not really been possible in the past couple of years. Um, but the comments I've been receiving have been incredible. So kind, so lovely, and it's, I'm, I'm really glad that I've been able to help some of you out there feel more relaxed and comfortable and with your mental health as well and really why you know when I set out to make this ASMR channel that's all that's all I really wanted was to make people feel better for whatever reason or whatever situation they were going through and um, that was always my primary intention because I'd found the ASMR community had helped me so much so I wanted to do something back and for you know a good solid four years I was posting like a couple of times a month I think um if you're an old subscriber you probably will remember better than me like how often it was when I posted when I was regularly posting um but you know in this time I've not been posting any ASMR or relaxation based videos things have changed a lot in the community like massively uh, which is so interesting you know I, really, I don't think any of us saw that that change was going to come and how rapid people's perceptions of ASMR would change but it like all of a sudden got really oh, what's the word it got really popular it became mainstream all of a sudden and i didn't see that coming and it's like people actually knew what it was <laughs> didn't have to explain it to people anymore and it was just it, it was so weird to be like watching a video of somebody who's not part of the ASMR community like another YouTuber from a different a different part of YouTube's community and they'd you know mention ASMR in, in a video or they'd just be you know drinking a coffee or eating something and suddenly go ASMR and it, it was just such a massive turn of events that since I'd been aware of this feeling that I have and that it's called ASMR, that never happened before. <laughs> when you, whenever you spoke to somebody about it, they'd just be like, mm, okay, very occasionally I'd meet somebody else who experienced ASMR. Um, but it was quite, it was quite rare, I'd say. Um, and I noticed that there was something in the ASMR community, but sort of not long before I kind of took a step back from making videos, was that there was a lot of content that was very kind of sexually motivated. And I don't mean that as any disrespect to videos like that that were made because, you know, some people might get a lot of relaxation from them and I'm not judging it. It's just, that's, that's just not me really. And I couldn't really get on with doing or making any content like that but there was a big a big period where I felt like you had to be like that make content like that otherwise people wouldn't watch it and that's not true um and I take that back now and I, but at the time that's that's kind of how I felt and then ASMR got really popular and that kind of it kind of changed it a bit because of the mainstream focus that it that it got um so that was interesting um and after a while and i know there's other asmr asmrists do people still say this word does that still exist people who um other asmrists 
they oh, I've lost my train of thought uh, oh, where's it gone? what was I talking about? I was talking about how that's not really me I couldn't do it oh yeah other ASMR artists have mentioned this before I remember Gentle Whispering once did a video about this like oh, it must be like seven years ago about desensitization to experiencing ASMR you know I'm sure you've probably all experienced that at some point is that when you've over overdone it and had like a lot of uh, ASMR experiences ASMR you know you've been watching loads of videos or maybe a particular lifestyle situation you've been going through at that time has meant that you have been very close contact with one of your ASMR triggers or you're getting triggered regularly in your day in day in the life day in the life out in the world wherever I think you know what I mean I'm struggling to speak I've got to get used to filming again my gosh um filming again <laughs> yeah you get desensitized to it and I'm pretty sure that's happened to me and it's been a long time since I've come out of the end other end of that desensitization not many ASMR videos really trigger me anymore um I still find them very relaxing and I still will watch watch some but they don't quite trigger me to feel the full-on tingles like they used to um, and I've just been watching Gentle Whispering really for the past couple of years I've not been watching anybody else's videos really um, I've just been watching Maria and it's been really nice to see her grow and the other things that other content she's been making and she's just always so sweet it's really a really very inspiring woman i think um so i've just really been watching maria to be honest um but i have been watching a lot of youtube generally just not all asmr related content um i've been watching a lot of true crime content where people go over cases and unsolved cases um, and I've been finding that very interesting recently um, so I've been watching somebody called Stephanie Harlow and she was the first true crime youtuber that I kind of stumbled across and started watching she's incredible she's so thorough it's it's amazing like so well researched and she really cares about the people that she's covering and you know the people who are survivors or victims or missing persons who still you know family don't have answers about where they are what happened to them like she's incredibly respectful um and she just very clearly cares so much and she really does every case justice like she tries to find everything and is incredibly well researched um so if you're into true crime or you think you find mysteries quite interesting and you want to see more or give a you know start watching stuff like that to see if you like it head on over to Stephanie, check her out, Stephanie Harlow and who else is there that I've been watching? I've been watching Danielle Hallam, she's really good too, very well researched and also very respectful um, and then there is uh, Joshua Miles um, who's brilliant and has a, quite a variety of the, uh, the types of cases that he covers he started doing like mysteries now, like he did the 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 uh, the stealing of the Mona Lisa recently, and I found that really interesting. 
um, this was from like 1918 and 1920 and the Mona Lisa was stolen from the Louvre and I've heard of it, the story before but I've never really heard of the details or looked looked into the details so that was really interesting so I'd recommend Joshua Miles as well um, what else have I been watching? I've been watching Graveyard Girl a lot Jenna Marbles man she is funny she is so funny <laughs> I watched quite a lot of Casey Neistat as well because Miles really liked him and Miles is my fiance Miles really liked him so I started watching Casey Neistat but it's not making a lot of videos anymore and um, only once once in a while does he post something now um who else I would just look at my feed but I can't because I'm filming this on my phone um there is some, there's a few other people, but it's not, it's not all ASMR, it's just Maria, she's the only one. Always oh, requires so much concentration for me to do <laughs> eyeliner, even though I'm not going to do a lot, I'm literally just going to do a, like a little tail tail and that is it. Still find it very hard. There's always one side that's easier to do than the other. This is not doing too good as well. So you'll probably notice that I look like I'm in a different place and that is because I am. We moved in December. So it's not been a very long time, uh, but it just became clear that we both needed our own space to work and we were really struggling in the in the apartment because when it started to get noisy because of the construction work that was happening right outside our window, they built an 11 storey building outside our windows. Um, Really, it was so loud it just halted my video making completely and it meant that Miles was only working at uh, night time recording music um, and it severely impacted our lives so we wanted to move and we were looking to kind of get out of the city as well we wanted somewhere a little bit further out and um, yeah, we found somewhere in December. I'm still working on sorting this room out. This is this is my office that we're in right now. Um, it still needs some work. I've got my desk from my old office because honestly, me and Miles we shared a studio slash office, so all my office consisted of was a desk and one set of shelves which are here they're over there i don't think you can see them but they are over there um, i'll probably show you more of this room in other videos as time goes on um so yeah i'm still sorting out this room but it's kind of on hold a little bit because of what's going on right now in the world. I mean, this room does need painting. I do have a lot of white paint, so I think I will paint it during this time of a uh, paused life. Um, but I will paint it, I think. It'd be something nice to do. I'm just keeping it white because I need somewhere to film audition tapes and the light in here is really nice. This is just the natural light you can see, although I do have a couple of like studio lights now. But I uh, always find natural, natural's the best, the natural's what I like. Um, 
So yeah, I need a filming space for audition tapes. Oh, and YouTube videos, really. Uh, I know with YouTube I wouldn't necessarily have to keep it white, but with the audition tapes, something neutral, a neutral wall is what they want, so I'll be keeping it white. I thought about um, just painting like a feature wall, a certain colour, like a soft pink or something, but if I do that, it means I'll probably get a bit of that colour like reflecting onto my face and defeats the purpose of having the white wall behind me so I don't want to get in a situation where I'm having a lot of reflection of a colour from the feature wall so I think I'm gonna have to keep it white and just really funk it up with pictures, soft furnishings, the furniture, artwork on the walls, um, I mean I do have a picture over there that um, it's about to, well, will go up when it's painted above, above the chimney breast, um, it's the only one that I'm dead sure about, I want to be in here, but all our framed photos we've not put any of them up yet because not everywhere is painted only certain rooms are I mean me doing it in stages setting up the house because that's the only way we could do it, it takes time doesn't it these things really nice this liquid lipstick it's just hard to put on am i the only person who struggles with this <laughs> when i grew up there was no youtube you just had to figure out makeup from an older sister or your mum or an aunt whoever was in your life using makeup who was older than you or you were figuring out it out on your own maybe your friends maybe could help possibly I remember there was this look that was really popular where it was like this smudgy black eyeliner with a, like an eyeliner pencil all around the eyes and smudged underneath as well, like under the lash line and it, to get that messy look I just couldn't do it, always really struggled to do it really really struggled and there was a friend of mine where it like always looked so good on her and I was like how do you do it? like I keep trying and like I put loads of mascara on and like I get the eyeliner and I get like a cotton bud and like smudge it about and I was like how do you do it? and she said I just don't take my makeup off ever <laughs> so she's just like constantly just layering eyeliner on eyeliner on eyeliner mascara mascara like every day and that's why it looked so messy and great was because she just never took it off and she was literally sleeping in it every single night mm, I wouldn't want to do that now though too much for the uh, skin um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video, if any of you have tuned in, um, I'm going to be making more videos for this channel and also my other channel, so go ahead and go and subscribe to that channel as well, um, I'm not sure what content I'll be making for that just yet, I know there's one video idea that I want because I found like an old um, careers aptitude test that I did at school and it like tells you what kind of person you are and what kind of traits you have and what career you'd be suited for and I just found it when I was cleaning tidying up this room from unloading boxes uh, and I wanted to read it I had a little flick through and I was like no this is a really good thing to do a video of so 
I'm going to go through that, read through that, see if I've uh, lived up to the predictions or not. I mean, at the time, we were all under the impression that those kind of tests were really stupid and really silly. Um, I don't know what, what how it works scientifically, like how it's right, how it works, but yeah, it'd be good to look back and see. So yeah, head over to my other channel. I'm also, there's a video live there now about how I lost my job, um, if you want to hear more about that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.